if, as polls suggest, Ellie, that uh, the Democrats do take back control of Congress, how would that frustrate the president's legislative agenda for the country? How could that impact his own personal life, his own personal situation as well? Good to be with you guys. Uh, it's going to be a huge difference if Democrats take the House. Uh, every single gavel of every single uh, committee will switch hands. Uh, and the Republican Party has been pretty much lax in their oversight of the Trump administration. Uh, and as soon as that, as soon as the switch happens, you're going to see just, you know, piles and piles of subpoenas come down the hill to the White House. Um, you're going to see the Intelligence Committee actually start doing their job uh, with Adam Schiff as the chairperson instead of Devin Nunes, uh, which would be a huge sea change. It's going to incredibly frustrate him personally. Uh, you know, th there's an entire, po an, an, a real possibility Donald Trump throws up his hands and walks away because he's so frustrated. He's not used to not getting his way. Uh, in terms of legislatively, things are going to grind to a halt. There's very little that the Republican Party and the Democratic Party agree on right now, and even less with Donald Trump. And we're looking live now at images, lines continuing to stretch throughout buildings, throughout city streets. Early this morning on the east coast of America, people are lining up by the tens of thousands to cast their vote. If there was to be, in your opinion, a particular surprise, maybe one race, one state, where you think there will be a major storyline, where would that be? I think all eyes right now are on Texas. Uh, I personally think it's re a really, really high, high hill for Beto O'Rourke to climb to win. But if he managed to get as many uh, new voters registered as it sounds like he may have done, uh, if, they, if the Democrats can flip the Texas Senate seat, that'll be the story of the election. 